my channel. So today's video may be a little bit similar to one I've already done before, but in January I uploaded a tour around my flat. Now we are in July, I've settled into my flat a lot more, I've got a lot more confident with actually filming and uploading more. I was watching back my video I was like, oh my god, I was so quiet because I was just so worried about getting it wrong and what people would actually think about me. Obviously I still feel the same way now, but I'm a lot more confident with actually filming. So I thought I would redo my tour of my flat and also do a video focus for students that are planning to move into like say new flats in September, if it's their first year at uni or just what you generally would need if you're moving into a flat. Starting off at my front door, this hasn't really changed apart from the fact that I've changed with more summery jackets, haven't got many winter coats, I've got a couple more dressing gowns now but that's kind of what you see when you first come in. I've got my little laundry bin which I would totally recommend you getting, laundry bin is so helpful and I've got a cute little foxy rug. Yeah, so laundry bin, definitely 100%. If you're taking your laundry, you need something to carry it in and it's not gonna be useful for you to actually just grab it in your hands, definitely a laundry bin. I will also put links in the descriptions if I can find the ones that I bought. Obviously this was a year ago or similar items. But coming into my little bathroom slash wet room, I have got all of my products that I've got here, my shampoos that I'm loving at the moment, my shower gel, hair treatment, toothbrushes, soap, and then just some hairspray. Also, I have become a plant mother and I've got little Sebastian here. And um, yes, I named my plants. I know it's a little bit weird, but hey ho. I am gonna paint Sebastian from Little Mermaid on here. Obviously, I've got my flannel and sponge there. I've got my shower up there and then towels. I would definitely recommend to get quite a few, like say different towels in case you do wash them. And then it's not, it might not actually be dry by the day that you actually need to use it. So definitely get a couple of different towels, hand towels and like shower towels, bath towels, whatever, in order to make sure that you've actually got a shower. Well, so they can dry yourself out of your shower. Coming out of my bathroom, this is the kind of overview that you get. You've got my kitchen space over here, saucepans, definitely 100% you need saucepans and some decent ones. I ruined quite a few good number of saucepans over this last year because I bake with them as well. So I've got those ones, a chopping board, I've got a airing kind of tray there in case you do any baking and definitely a baking tray. A slow cooker I would definitely recommend in case that you do actually go to uni during the day and then you want something ready really home and it makes the flat smell amazing. I've got my cute little tea towels over here kettle and toaster and obviously my little sink with my washing up bowl. So yeah this is just kind of my kitchen space. Um, I've also got, because I do a lot of baking, I use a lot of tins because I bake in large quantities at times and it is so hard when you don't have enough tubs. Or in my case I've gone completely tub mental and I have so many. And I've got my cute little orchid re-diffuser that I had in my Primark haul from the other day. Here over by my sink I've got my washing up liquid and soap, a little sponge to clean the sink with. Then you've got my, I've got two cupboards up here and a cupboard down there and a drawer. That's just kind of my odds and sods drawer. And in this one I have got because I kind of like to stock up on products just in case they don't have them, I've got some soap, I've got some shampoo, some shower gels and just some toothpaste. And down the bottom I've got loo rolls and just some saucepans and this adorable cute little unicorn oven mitt. Here you've got my oven and I do use my oven to store some of my baking trays in. I've got a little one in case I want to do like a tray bake or something and there's some cake tins as well. This cupboard under my sink definitely is my more cleaning product things. So I've got floor cleaner, just kitchen and bathroom spray, washing liquid and just that kind of odds and sods. Oh that's kitchen roll over there. I've got some new tea towels that I bought the other day and then obviously just some bin bags, cloths, just little essential bits. Over to my cute tiny little fridge and I've got my little pocket hug magnet and this cute little Alice squirrel fridge magnet thing. So you've got my freezer space which literally I just fill up with just anything I can. This freezer is quite small. My fridge space can vary completely. It can be full up like it is now or can be completely empty. So I've just got some butter, A because I like doing baking so I like doing buttercream. I've got some yogurt, just bits and bobs, some potatoes in here obviously ketchup and some pesto, lemon curd and just some tomatoes really and cucumber. 
Moving over to this cupboard over here, it is one of my favourites. I've got all of my baking supplies over here. It looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but it is a well-ordered mess. And I've just got tin tomatoes, pasta, just some tins, salt, some vegetable oil, and then just stuff to go on top too. I would definitely say make sure you have tins in your cupboard, just in case, because like, in case you don't really want to cook something or just want a quick meal, and in case you just run out of things, because once the coronavirus kind of started, I was lucky because I'd already topped it up my cupboards with tins, but as soon as that all kind of kicked off, I went into the supermarkets and you could not get tins of anything, couldn't get any pasta, and we all know the only meal that students can actually cook is pasta. At the top, I've got more of my baking supplies. I've got my scales, my sieve, mixing bowl, and little decorative bits and bobs and food colouring. Just baking bits, really. I wouldn't say I'm actually any good at baking. I just like dabbling. Uh, well, the little straw up here. I've just got my cutlery, some kitchen utensils, knives, scissors, and then little freezer bags, tin foil, baking paper, some batteries, just bits and bobs. Side by my fridge and my cupboard, I have got little recyclable bags. They are an absolute essential, especially if you go shopping. Saves you a lot of money and saves the environment too. I have got my wardrobe. In comparison to what my wardrobe looked last time, there's a lot more stuff in it. I've obviously got my summery clothes up here, and then I've got my shoes down the bottom, and I've got lot, I've got lots more duvet covers and like pillowcases. Then I've got my bottoms up here because I didn't really have enough space. So that's kind of what's going on in there. Then at the top, I have got a sleeping bag and just an inflatable mattress mattress and a sleeping bag is really good in case you have guests around at some point and they're gonna need somewhere to sleep and especially if you don't want to go top of the with them. Getting my flat to be more of a homely vibe. When I first moved in it was I didn't actually feel like my own space and my parents have been bringing down more of my stuff from up home because they are just doing stuff with the house at the moment so I've got this cute little canvas print here that says go confidently in the direction of your dreams live the life you always imagined and I've got a cute little unicorn money box, some unicorn ornaments, some flowers, some artificial ones because I cannot keep any flowers alive she said with now two plants a little bunny pot and then just a cute little frame that I had on my wall back at home over here you've got my little island space kind of thing in the middle which I've got my laptop on and then obviously I have got my microwave over here. Underneath in the corner a box of fabric. Because I am doing a sewing degree a fabric is a must and then you've got my cute little desk grace. It's a lot more decorated than it was last time. I don't believe in January I actually had this up so I've got a cute little photo wall that I've set up and then I've just got my little notice board and I've got these really cute bottle lights which light up. I've got pen pots. I am, because I collect so many mugs, I've just got so much pens as well. So I just use them for storing my pens. Got my little DVD player over here and then my printer. Then this space is definitely a lot more decorated than it was last time and a lot more organised. I've got my sewing stuff and knitting balls of wool up there and like little knitting needles. This shelf here is more of like an arty crafty shelf, bits of ribbon, buttons. This is stuff that my parents bought from up home, from like toys that I had when I was little. Then I've got some, a magazine and bookshelf. Then this one is more like an odds and sods with notebooks, magazines, some odd books. Then this one here is like, I've got some little photo frames. I've got these little glass birds, some ornaments, a Mary Poppins thing there, and just little cute bits. This shelf is my Disney Beauty and the Beast shelf. I collected all this stuff from Primark when they were doing all their Beauty and the Beast range. So I've got my Mrs. Potts and Chip purse. I've got Cogsworth at the back. This light the lights up. I've got Lumia, the little candle holder, and some chip mugs, and a Mrs. Potts teapot. This shelf over here is more of my perfumes, hair treatment, deodorant, more spray, skin stuff, just that kind of thing in this shelf here. Then over here, I would definitely recommend you get one of these. I've just popped it up so you can like see what it is. And it is a clothes dryer. If you're a student, I definitely recommend you get one of those. Especially in the summer, you don't really want to be paying the money to actually pay to dry your clothes washing. drying things. It's a lot cheaper, you save yourself a lot of money, and it literally just, you could just pop it up for a day if it's a really nice day, and it'd be dried by the evening, 
or if not it just takes a couple of days bed space i've got this really cute autumnal bedding which is from asda it's got a cute little print on the back too i've got some blankets which i would definitely recommend you stock up on blankets i've got this little heater in the corner to heat my entire flat and i'll tell you what in the winter it definitely does not so i've got lots of big fluffy blankets got my slippers there and then onto my little bedside table i've got a calla lily plant i've got this cute little lamp which actually reflects the dandelions and then i've got my little jewelry box and a candle that zoe made me got my ju my more jewelry and makeup stored in there and just odds and sods in that one then in my window i've got my makeup brushes hair bubbles and a mirror then i've got my little sofa space that i kind of made into more of like a homey space so i've got blankets on it pillows and just little cute vibes I did there. almost forget to show you was my little kitchen cupboard things I've got over here. So I've just got mugs and plates in there. One thing I would definitely say, make sure when you move into your flat, you have got microwavable plates and bowls. I bought these beautiful unicorn ones with gold foil on, but they don't go in the microwave. Turns out that, that you can actually set fire to microwave if you do that. Not that I've found that out. I've got little snacky bits, especially the fact that I'm now working I just need something quick and easy. Then at the top, I've got more Tupperware tubs. In my first video, they were actually stored in there, but now I've found space for them in here. I've just got little, some barb, some tea, coffee. I don't drink any hot drinks, but that's just in case I have any guests around. And then I've got my glasses and mug collection in here, and just a little placemat and little coasters over there. Then over into this one over here, I have got my more like, drinks, I've got tonics, I've got fizzy waters, pink lemonade, and then I've just got my alcohol in the back. Then again, I've just got my little cute cereal collection and just some cherries and berries. So yeah, that is kind of my updated flat tour. I've moved in, I'd say a lot more into this one. It's just a lot more homely and I feel like I've actually made the flat my own now, especially the fact that I've got a lot more of my stuff around me that my parents have brought down and yeah it's just got a cute little homely vibe to it and I know I prefer it a lot more it feels like a lot more of my space I know it's only taken about a year to get here but I'm kind of excited for this next year because I have got my Christmas stuff already down here I don't I don't know if I actually posted my Christmas tree on here last year but I have got under bed storage and that's where I store my Christmas stuff I've got so much Christmas stuff I don't need to buy any more Christmas decorations and I need to keep telling myself that because I've got so much of it already I don't need any more I've got it already so I've got my artificial Christmas tree but this year I really want to get a real one I really do I want to get a real one I want to get a real tree. I've never had a real tree for my own before and I haven't had a real tree in my flat obviously because last year I had an artificial one and it just, I don't think the artificial one really does the same like it doesn't feel as Christmassy, it doesn't smell Christmassy and it just kind of stands there so I really want to get a real Christmas tree this year. I'm quite, I've been watching Zoe and Mark Christmas vlogs, I've been watching fancy vlogs all of them from like the Christmas season and I don't know I do this every year I get myself to the festive season early Christmas used to be my favorite time of the year it isn't anymore because I've got quite sad memories from Christmas and it's just not the same now oh there's a big fly in my flat but I don't know I'm determined to make this Christmas a good one so fingers crossed and I will see you for another video. I do hope you liked this one, even though it was a bit similar to the last one that I did back in January. But I don't know, I just feel more comfortable in my flat and I wanted to share that with you. So I will catch you again for another video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.